grade 6 math, number 3.3c, equivalent fractions. How can two-thirds equal two-fourths? <laughs> I'm going to show you. Isn't that curious? All right, I showed you this before. We have to, when we add or subtract fractions, we need to make the denominators the same, and the way we do it is by adding lines to create more parts. We cut them into smaller parts, and we can make them have the same denominator, the same amount of parts. Well, when we bring fractions to lower terms, we're just erasing lines between them. When we want to turn 3 6 into a half, we just erase some of the lines. When we make common denominators, we draw more lines in between them to make them have the same number of den for the denominator, the same number of parts. So some fractions are equivalent because there's just more or fewer lines between the parts. A half is equal to 2 fourths because there's just a line here. It's the same amount. The orange part is the same amount as the yellow part. It's just that that's split in two. A fifth is the same thing as two tenths because there's just a line here. It's the same amount. But sometimes we can have a fraction of a fraction, and that's the key word, a fraction of a fraction, and that changes the way we look at them. If we went to the store and bought three-fourths yard of fabric, 36 inches is a yard, so we bought three-fourths of a yard. We bought 27 inches. So here's the three-fourths yard, okay? Now, the whole thing would have been 36 inches, but we only bought 27 of the 36. We didn't buy this part. We lay it down next to a piece of ribbon that's 27 inches, and looking at the fabric that's split into parts of four, because we bought three-fourths yard, each fourth is nine inches. On the ribbon, it's split into thirds, and because it's a 27-inch piece of ribbon, each third is split into nine inches. Well, how can a fourth be a third? How could two of these thirds equal two-fourths, a half a yard. Isn't that odd? Well, they're not fractions of the same thing. See? That's the problem. They're just cut to the same length, the same size. They're, they're nine inches in each part. That's where the confusion is. They're fractions of different holes. The hole of this is 27 inches. The hole of this is 36 inches. We just happen to only have three-fourths of it. See? So actually, two-thirds of three-fourths can be half. See, we're just not finishing our statement. Three-thirds is equal to three-fourths of four-fourths. See? And by writing the four-fourths, you see where the difference is. Okay? It's like we're comparing a can of peas and a can of tuna that are two different sizes. The peas are 12 ounces and the tuna is 6 ounces. So that's already half, but it's a whole can. How can a whole be a half? Well, because they're not the same size. We're not talking about the same thing. We're talking about a 12-ounce can compared to a 6-ounce can. Half of the 6-ounce can is 3 ounces. Well, that would only be a fourth of a can to the peas. How can a half be a fourth? Because they're two different size cans, see? We're not comparing peas to peas or tuna to tuna. We're comparing two different things. If I had a big candy bar and I split it into thirds and I laid it next to a stick of gum and split that into thirds, I could say two-thirds of the gum is equal to a third of the candy bar. How can a third be equal to two-thirds? Because we're not starting with the same thing. We're starting with two complete different things, see? So some fractions are equivalent because they're fractions of different things. Some fractions are equivalent because there's just more or fewer lines between the parts. Some are fractions of different things. See the difference? Now you know how two-thirds can equal two-fourths. Crazy fractions. I'll see you next video. Bye.